It's February and this is the Library Roadshow. On the show today, dogs, jobs, and microfilm. All that and more coming up on the Library Roadshow. Welcome to the February edition of the Library Roadshow. I'm Mary Stein, and this is a production of your East Baton Rouge Parish Library System. For me, February means one thing, the kickoff of the library's One Book, One Community series. This year, we're featuring the adventures of Detective Sherlock Holmes and Dr. John Watson in The Hound of the Baskervilles by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. We've planned a whole season of Sherlock, and we're showcasing different iterations of this iconic character and asking you, who's your favorite Holmes? We've invited Sherry Thomas, author of Lady Sherlock, A Study in Scarlet Women, to join us in March. And Watson and Holmes, A Study in Black by Carl Bowlers will be featured in April. Dr. Chris Machalski of LSU will drop in to speak on the many faces of Holmes. And in keeping with the theme, we've also planned a Victorian steampunk tea, movies, discussions, escape rooms, even programs on dogs and bees. More Holmesian events are being added. You can send us yours, too. The complete event listing can be located on the library's website or by visiting www.readonebook.org. To kick it all off, I'm inviting you to join us for a street party at the Main Library at Goodwood on Saturday, February 23rd from 6 till 8 p.m. This free event is fun for the whole family. The Whale and Anna Band will perform, and in addition to the meat pies and scones, we've planned face painting games, trivia fog, and a plethora of homes related guests, such as the crime scene and cybercrime units, beekeepers, and maybe a dog or two, and of course, a visit from the great man himself. Come in costume and help us release the hounds as we celebrate all things Sherlock. Free access to books, audio, and library resources are just a few of the benefits available to you when you get a library card. Need free access to a computer? You get that. Want free access to premium digital resources like Mango Languages and Lynda.com? You get that. Need to book a meeting space? You get that. Heck, you can even check out a telescope or use a digital printer with your library card. If you live in East Baton Rouge Parish, pick up your free library card from your local branch library today. Premium access to everything the library system has to offer is waiting for you. Libraries have been home for makers and making for years. And as the various ways of making things has grown more technologically advanced, so has our interest grown. In addition to offering a whole suite of digital resources to help learners, we are also developing special spaces in which to work. Adam St. Pierre joins me now to explain in the digital download. Did you know that you can 3D print something at your library? Make a podcast? Make your own videos? Well, individuals 12 and up can at the Innovation Space in the Blue Bonnet Regional Library. The Blue Bonnet Regional Library's Innovation Space is outfitted with a Lulzbot Mini 3D printer, a 10-channel audio mixer, mics, instrument cables, green screens, and a GoPro. So how do you get in there and start making, you ask? Library staff will teach you how the equipment works to earn a badge, and then you can start booking the space by yourself for up to four hours at a time. To learn more about the Innovation Space at the Blue Bonnet Regional Library, head over to the Innovation Space Info Guide at ebrpl.com. Thanks, Adam. We've offered a whole print-on-demand service for several years, but being able to get in there and do it yourself is a terrific service for our community of makers. People are really enjoying the video and podcasting setup, too. The badging classes fill up quickly, so be sure to keep up with the schedule of events. Let's shift gears and check in with Kayla Perkins reporting in from Beyond the Stacks. Your library system offers programs and groups to support you through a wide range of situations. That includes searching for a new job. When you're laid off from your job, what do you do? Well, you can come to your library's Career Center. Ann Nowak and her team of experts are here to help. Let's check it out. 
My name is Anna Novak and I run the Career Center at the East Baton Rouge Parish Library where we are today and we're in one of our meeting rooms in one of our weekly job club meetings. These weekly job club meetings are open to anyone looking for support and resources for all things related to employment. We could really walk you through the whole job search process. So you could come to us, we will work with you one-on-one -on -one, uh, to establish what kind of job are you looking for. Then we would establish how to best look for it. We would do a resume with you. We would do a LinkedIn profile. We will talk about online job search. We will talk about networking and how to best leverage your network or establish a new network. We would practice interviewing with you and hopefully um, work with you until you have find your next job. The goals of the Weekly Job Club are fourfold. One is to learn the newest job search techniques. So we have a new job search topic every week. But then it's really about mutual support. So you find out it's not just you. There are others in the same situation. Um, it's mutual accountability. We check in every week and everybody shares what job search activities they did. And usually you don't want to be the only one that hasn't done anything. So it's about accountability and networking is a big factor. There are studies about job search groups, ours we call job club, that people that participate in groups like that find jobs, I believe it was 20% faster than people who go it alone. So what are you waiting for? Your path to a new job starts at the Career Center's website at ebrpl.com. You will find our contact information. Uh, you also already find lots of resources. You can find resume templates and links to job search sites and links to other information. Um, and you find our phone number so you can call us and make appointments or just come on in. A job change can be hard but your library wants to make it a little bit easier with its free career resources. To find out what's coming up next, pick up a copy of our monthly newsletter, The Source, or visit us online at www.ebrpl.com. Thanks, Kayla. The Job Club proves that we really do get by with a little help from our friends. This approach reinforces everything else that's going on during the job search. Stay right there. After the break, Lynette Lee joins me for a chat right here on the Library Roadshow. I'm Zoe Kravitz from Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Books are magical and reading can transform your life. Libraries make sure people of all backgrounds can experience the wonder of literature through literacy programs and access to media. Spread the magic by supporting your library. As an American, it's hard to hear that we have a serious hunger issue in our country. And as a parent, it's even harder to hear that one in five of our kids struggles with hunger, especially when billions of pounds of good food are wasted every year. Feeding America is a nationwide network of food banks that helps provide billions of meals to families in need right in your community. Visit feedingamerica.org to support Feeding America and your local food bank. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. Do you wonder how your family landed here? Do you really know your family roots? Discover more about your family history at the East Baton Rouge Parish Library Genealogy Department. East Baton Rouge Parish Library. Become a member and discover more. You're watching the February edition of the Library Roadshow. Everything you need to know about your local library system. You've just seen Kayla on the scene with Ann Nowak of the Library's Career Center and the Job Club. It's no surprise that job and career inquiries jumped to the top of our list earlier this year with the January announcements about the closing of the Georgia Pacific plant and subsequent displacement of over 750 employees. Our staff immediately put their heads together to review what the library has to offer. Lynette Lee of the Library's Career Center joins me now to dive a little deeper. Okay, Lynette, what is the Career Center? Well, we're a department of the library that specializes in career search, career planning, job search, all of that kind of thing. Anything related to finding and choosing a job. So we don't actually give you a job, but we help you find the one that's right for you. <laughs> that's right. We're not a staffing agency or a job placement agency, but what we can do is we can give people the tools to go out and find their own dream job. Uh, those tools would include things like a dedicated workspace, a collection of relevant books. We have helpful handouts. We have postings of local job openings. We offer classes and seminars. We have a treasure trove of online resources. And best of all, 
we offer one-on-one -on -one advice from trained experts. I have seen so many times walking by the Career Center here at the main library on the first floor is right there where you can just fall into it. The staff <laughs> is always on their feet working the room, working yes. the computers and helping people with the job application, the mm -hmm. resumes. Talk about the resumes. Well, we do have two certified professional resume writers on staff. So we do have the expert advice. We know all of the best practices for how to put together a really top-notch resume and cover letter. And the networking strategies, that's something that you don't think of normally when you're starting on your job search. Uh, that all the gurus say you need to use your network and p then people say, what network? I don't have a network. So tell me a little bit about that. Well, the truth is everybody has a network. So that's something that we can work with people on and help them figure out, help them remember, rack their brains and find who are their connections? Who are the people that they have known who might be able to help them? Because even in this brave new technological world, the best resource that any job seeker has is their contacts, their right. network. Yeah, your past is always with you when it comes to getting a new job, yes, isn't it? for better or worse. So uh, the online resources, of course, the libraries had wonderful resources. Back in the day, we used to have uh, job strategy books and resume books, and then we would have the job test mm -hmm. kinds of things. And now most of those things have now migrated online. So how do people find those things? Well, the best place to start is with our website. Okay. We have a website that's a little bit separate from the library's it website. It lives inside. It lives inside, but it can also live on its own. Mm -hmm. um, that URL is www.careercenterbr.com. That's pretty simple. Yes. Uh, Career Center BR. We're a career center in BR. I, I got um, it. And we have all kinds of good things on there. We have free downloadable resume templates that people can pull up and start typing their own information mm -hmm. in. We have lists of local staffing agencies. We have a collection of trustworthy job search websites. There you go, trustworthy. That are not scams. And not paid. <laughs> yes. Uh, we have lists of free assessments uh, where people can go to figure out what they're good at, what they enjoy, and help choose a career. Mm -hmm. We have links to help job seekers who are in difficult situations. Uh, we have special links for job seekers with disabilities, minorities, veterans, uh, senior citizens, all kinds of good resources there. And workforce development information Absolutely. as well. So you also do a lot of seminars. We, we heard from Kayla earlier about the job club, but yes. that's just one of many. Yes, absolutely. Um, so that's one very unique program we offer, but we also have tons of other seminars. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of job search related seminars. For example, this weekend uh, we're doing a mastering the job interview mm -hmm. seminar. Next week we have a resume writing seminar which I'll be leading. Next month we have a seminar called organizing your job search. We have a professional organizer coming in for that. That's going to be fun. I may come to that one just for the heck of it. And we also have career exploration related mm -hmm. seminars where we get experts who work in a certain field who can come tell us what it's really like. And you've done that for the teens too with Cool Careers. Yes, the Cool so, Career Summer Series. Yeah. And and I, you also have a seminar on how to be um, more effective when you go to a job fair. So yes. I'm very intrigued by all that. Now, you've had some wonderful success stories, haven't you? Yes. Honestly, this is my favorite part of the job, is when somebody comes in all excited and says, I got the job, I got the job, thank you so much. It just makes our day when we get that feedback, and we've gotten some great stories. Uh, we have people who well, that we've saved from homelessness uh, because we helped them find a job. We've had people who come in and tell us that they get recruited based on the resume that we helped them write. Love it. We've had people tell us that they um, rocked a job interview because they practiced with us. That's so, great. And, and this is a free service provided Absolutely. by the library. Absolutely. So how do people access that, that service? It's uh, Baton Rouge Career Center. Mm-hmm. And it's not BR, it's Baton Rouge. What do the, you mean? The, the, the website the is. The website is careercenterbr.com. So careercenterbr.com, and you're open six days a week. Yes, we are. And to take the most advantage of our services, people are going to want to come in in person. That's right. And we are inside the main library mm -hmm. here at 7711 Goodwood Boulevard. That's right, centrally located, so easy. And we're open 8 to 8. 
Monday through Thursday and 9 to 5 Friday and Saturday. And people are also very welcome to check out our website. We also have a Facebook and Twitter page that post daily mm -hmm. with updates on things like local job fairs and upcoming seminars. So. Plus handy little tips from Muse and other things like that. Yes, I, I love see those finding these good career advice articles. All right. Well, thanks, Lynette. We are so proud to have this fully functioning career center on site right here at the main library at Goodwood. As Lynette said, the center is staffed six days each week, and you can even make an appointment by emailing Lynette at lee at ebrpl.com or calling them at 231-3733. And don't forget that the digital library is chock a block full of free skills development classes. Some even issue certificates. So whether you're just hitting one quick refresher class in lynda.com or Learning Express, or you want to attend a six-week online class in Gale Courses. We offer a broad range of classes to help you retool your skills or develop new ones, all free with your library card. After this break, author James Thompson, plus we check in with one of our younger library patrons. That and more coming up next on the Library Roadshow. I'm Zoe Kravitz from Fantastic Beast: The Crimes of Grindelwald. Books are magical, and reading can transform your life. Libraries make sure people of all backgrounds can experience the wonder of literature through literacy programs and access to media. Spread the magic by supporting your library. Welcome back to the February edition of the Library Roadshow. The Walk of a Man, Begin of Beginnings is a book published by local author James A. Thompson. The title and his story of spiritual guidance and perseverance is sure to inspire any reader. James joins me now by phone. James, how did you get your start as an author? I basically just got started overnight about four years ago as written on the back of my book um, that the book came to me and uh, what I feel of a dream or vision. And um, and I just wrote the book in one day. And uh, four years after that, uh, it took me a while to figure out how to to get the book um, into production. What is this book about, James? What my book is about um, it surrounds the life of, of a minister who had a situation of not of his calling, of not of his fault, that uh, is very detrimental. Uh, and the hand of God guides this man uh, through other people's life, likewise, who have situations and circumstances from a mixed, diverse culture of people. And I have this man basically uh, a fictional characters where he's actually uh, ministering to different peoples in ways that uh, he had never ministered before. What inspired you to write? When the book came to me, it, 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 it sort of correlated with uh, a lot of things that people who are looking for hope uh, answers them. I'm not claiming that I have the hope or answers, but you're looking for hope and answers and direction. And I felt that this book has, when I wrote it, it, it inspired me as a writer. I found myself going back over it over and several times, reading it and getting inspired by it. And I felt uh, I wanted to share this to uh, the world. How can folks learn more about you and your work? Well, folks can uh, learn about me uh, in upcoming projects as I try to um, incorporate myself or get involved with the Facebook media. But for right now, uh, it's going to be basically uh, Internet um, or email, uh, which they can reach me at Ezra uh, Garrett, number three, at gmail.com, or my phone number, and uh, leave a detailed message or by text. Uh, 225-333-9687. If you, like James, are inspired to put pen to paper and write your own book, let me suggest using the library's biblioboard and selfie publishing platforms. Let's take a moment to meet with one of our younger library patrons and learn what they're reading at the library. Hi, my name is Matthew. I am seven, and my favorite book is Diary of a Wimpy Kid. It's about a kid 
who goes to a middle school and he has a friend named Rowley. Basically, has a bit has a bad life. The only reason I agreed to do this at all is because I figure later uh, when when I'm rich and famous, I have better things to do and then answer people's stupid questions all day long. So this book is going to come in handy. Like I said, I'll be famous one day, but for now I'm stuck in middle school with a bunch of morons. My mom brings me to the library. When I come to my the library, my, my favorite thing to do is check out books. Thanks, Matthew. Diary of a Wimpy Kid sure is a popular title for all age groups. Lucky for you kids, we have plenty of copies for you to borrow. Stay right there. You're watching the Library Roadshow. Well, Thomas, you've got prediabetes. But with more exercise and a change in diet, it can be reversed. I've tried exercising. It, it just makes me hungry for bacon. I love bacon, too. And who really likes to exercise? Not me. <laughs> me neither. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're good? What? Oh, you still have prediabetes. Big time. Hey, I'm Constance Wu. Did you know that Crazy Rich Asians was a book before it became a movie? You can still find books at the library, but libraries have so much more, including educational programs for families and opportunities for community engagement and professional development. So visit your library today. Hello, my name is Melissa Easton and I'm head of the Special Collections Department here at the East Baton Rouge Parish Public Library. Our department is located on the second floor of the main library at Goodwood, where Baton Rouge history comes alive. Did you know that about 79% of Louisiana residents were born in Louisiana? This is a higher percentage than any other state. Also, Louisiana was settled by Europeans long before most other regions of the United States, with the first European settlers arriving in the late 17th century. What does this mean to Louisiana residents who are tracing their family histories? Simply put, Louisiana records are of vital importance. This is why our libraries put together an extensive collection of these records and made them available to the public. For those of you doing research on South Louisiana, we have on microfilm several of these historic collections, including the British and Spanish West Florida collection. These papers are records of day-to-day -day operations of those governments in Louisiana and include such information as land grants, legal disputes, and other pieces of personal history that came to the attention of these governments. For the period leading up to the Civil War, we have the plantation papers. Their content ranges from detailed account books to businesses and personal letters, as well as diaries and even recipe books, all from working plantations. These not only detail the lives of plantation owners, but often contain details of the lives of slaves as well, as local farmers and merchants who had dealings on those plantations. So if you're looking for information on your Louisiana family's past, we invite you to spend some time with us. Our staff is very eager to help you locate the resources you need. You can call us at 225-231-3751 or come by the Genealogy Reading Room in the Special Collections Department on the second floor of the main library at Goodwood, where history comes alive. You're watching the February edition of the Library Roadshow, a production of your East Baton Rouge Parish Library System. It's fascinating to see all the different types of records available on microfilm, and since it's such a stable format, it'll be around for at least 100 more years. Our microfilm collection is a great resource, but nothing beats that initial stop at the desk to lay out your research needs for, to the staff. It's all available at the main library on Goodwood, and it's all free with your East Baton Rouge Parish Library card. Your library aims to find new ways to serve you. Most recently, we've launched self-checkout kiosks. We're at the main library to see how this new option is stacking up. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Alec Bourgeois. I'm a librarian with the Circulation Department here at the main library, and I'm going to give a quick overview about our new self-check kiosks. Self-checkout kiosks offer a level of convenience that can help you get in and out of your library with the books and DVDs you want very fast. It's so simple. You just follow the directions on the screen, 
you would press checkout, you would scan your library card, and then you place your items on the counter and it tells you when each item is successfully checked out. Then at the end, you would just press receipt and it will print a receipt out for your transaction. Push the checkout button, scan your library card, put your book on the table, take your printer receipt. It's just that simple. If you're checking a book out, you know, you just place it on the counter, it'll automatically check it out. If you're checking out a DVD or a CD, after your item is checked out on the screen, it'll tell you to unlock your case and that'll activate a piece of the DVD unlocker here and allow you to slide your case to unlock it and make sure the disc is there before you leave with it. I asked Alec how patrons have been receiving these new checkout kiosks. It's been mainly positive feedback. Uh, people are surprised that we have self-check kiosk. I think a lot of people um, are happy to see them here and you know that we're using new technology to help make their library experience more convenient, more pleasant. And these aren't a replacement for circulation staff. We're always going to be here to answer questions for people. It's just another option, uh, a supplement for patrons to use, you know, to check items out for themselves. Push a button, scan your card, and print your receipt. Checking out is now really that simple. We currently have the self-check kiosk at just a few branches, but we're in the process of uh, evaluating how they're doing and getting feedback and possibly looking at rolling them out to all branches in the future. Well, that was easy. Help yourself to this new option the next time you're at the library. Don't forget to pick up a copy of our monthly newsletter, The Source, to find out what's coming up this summer. Or visit us online at www.evrpl.com. Since these self-check kiosks went live last year, our patrons are taking advantage of this express circulation desk. More than 22% of all checkout transactions are now taking place via the kiosks, which takes some of the pressure off the staff at the circulation desk. So that means that patrons waiting in line for staff assistance can have a better experience without worrying about those in line behind them. Patrons really like the ease in printing the return receipts, too. The last phase for implementation is getting the credit and debit card readers online. That feature is in testing now. Once it comes online, you'll be able to pay your fines in person or even online. It's all about giving you some options. And now for today's contest. Visit the library's Facebook page at facebook.com slash EBRPL. I'm looking for the new face of Sherlock Hounds. Send in pictures of your dog or cat or any other furry friend cast as Sherlock Holmes or Watson on the trail. We'll add it to our Baker Street Irregulars page on the Baskervilles Info Guide and use it to spice up our One Book, One Community series. That's facebook.com slash EBRPL. And while you're there, enjoy. We're not your grandfather's library anymore. What's coming up on the Library Road Show in March? One book, one community, of course. I'll be hosting Sherry Thomas, author of Lady Sherlock's Study in Scarlet Women, and Mary Mannheim, who's just released Claire Carter, Bone Detective. And coming up next month, I'll share another digital resource with you. Tune in next month, and I'll be covering the Victorian Steampunk Tea Party. Thanks so much for joining us on the Library Road Show, and remember, your East Baton Rouge Parish Library is open seven days a week at each and every one of 14 branches, plus 24-7 on the web. Check us out at ebrpl.com. And that's how we roll.